Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Automation Academy. Today we are diving into one of the most essential design patterns in Java, the singleton design pattern. Whether you are preparing for an interview or looking to level up your design skill, understanding the singleton design pattern is crucial. So let's get into it. Now first thing is what is singleton design pattern? So here singleton design pattern is one of the most common design pattern in Java. It ensure that a class has only one instance and provide a global access point for all the instances that we create. Think of it's a way to manage shared resources in a controlled and consistent manner. In simple term, singleton class is a class that can only be instantiated once no matter how many times you create you try to create instance of the same class you will always get same object so question is why we use singleton design pattern so here singleton design pattern is particularly useful in scenario where you need to control access to some shared resources like configuration files, database connection, or even a logging service whenever we log the output of the console. So imagine if you have a database connection class, if you if multiple connection multiple instances were created, they could interfere each other, leading to inconsistent state or resource leak. The singleton design pattern prevent this by ensuring that only one instance of the database connection exists. Now let's go and see how we can implement the singleton design pattern. Now let's jump into the code and see how we can implement singleton design pattern. There are several ways to do but we will focus on more straightforward approach. So for that we need to have IDE and I have already just downloaded Eclipse. So let's open it and extract. Now after extract we can go into Eclipse folder and just run Eclipse file. Now let's op let's create one project. So I'll just create here simple Java project. I will select Java project, go next, and we'll say singleton project. Let's click finish. So now here we have project is created we can just create one file inside it and I'll say singleton so we wanted to create class singleton so let's create singleton class we can put here name so let's I'll say com dot test and just click finish so we have one class created let's just check if it's working properly or not so we can just write here main method and we'll do sys out just to check our java application is working or not so it's printing that means the setup is done we can just implement here singleton design pattern so first we will implement with the very basic which is we can use eager loading and in eager loading what we'll do here we have to start with creating private static singleton the class name and the object name that we are going to create should be same so we can say singleton and here we can say this is instance so now first instance we have created so now 
the first rule is that you need to make class make variable as private and static now second is we need to make constructor as private so for that i'll just write here private single run and just write this one we don't need to write anything and then third step is to provide public access to this instance and for that we will write here public static singleton and then write the method name so i'll say get instance get instance and this method where we have to first check if instance equal to equal to null if yes then what we have to do we can create instance of this class so instance equal to new singleton so we are just creating object here and then what we have to do we just need to return from here so i'll say return instance so this is our first class that we have created so here let's go again we need private static instance just to ensure the class has a single instance that's why we have used private and static especially static then second to prevent other class other other class from creating a new instance we have made it private so no other class can create object of this the singleton class so if i'll just check here let's go and create a singleton test class right and here i will have main method so i cannot directly create object so if i want to rest right singleton obj equal to new singleton that thing i cannot write singleton myself you can see we don't have that option so just paste it singleton you cannot do new keyword because we have made private constructor the private constructor is you cannot create object outside of this class so this thing you can't do now question is how we will do so we have a method which is public method and get instance so we have to use this method so i'll write here get instance but the thing is this is public so we have to public as well as static so if it is static you have to use class name so i'll say singleton singleton dot get instance so this way you can create object now one object is created similarly you can create another object so let's say i'll say object 2 and if you wanted to check whether you have single object or you know single object is pointing these two you can just use sys out obj1 equal to equal to obj2 if it will return as true that means object both object pointing to both both object reference right pointing to same object you can see we are getting true that means the actually we have two references but it's pointing to the same object so this is how we implement basic singleton design pattern right so there are some pros and cons of each singleton design pattern that we have implemented we have eager loading lazy loading right we have different way to implement it so we can say pros is controlled access of a sole instance right we have this single instance and we can control on that right it can reduce the memory whenever because we have only one instance of that the same class similarly we have some cons that it can lead to tight coupling right of the single class testing become difficult and might introduce hidden dependency problem so some best practices that we have that we should you know always focus so best practice where we have is thread safety which is the first and most priority that we should keep here so if your application is multi threaded ensure that your singleton implementation is thread safe and you can achieve by implementing synchronization right in the 
get instance method so you can use synchronization and then by default your class will be synchronized so for that what you can do to make it thread safety you can use synchronized keyword and we have two ways to implement synchronized one is you can use on method name simply go here and write after a static write synchronized as well synchronized this keyword so whenever you will make synchronized on a static then whatever thing available inside this method will be logged and at only at a time one object will get access of this one, this object All right so this is one way to implement another way is you can use either if you want you can use synchronized so synchronized this this particular block and in this block you can just write this so or, or the class name so i'll say singleton dot class and your code right all the code should be inside this so this is how you can write so you are not locking whole object so ideally we should return this outside right so at a time only one object will get access to this synchronized method and then if object is already created it will just return from here this is one way another way is you should also you can implement eager loading right instead of um, using um, lazy loading you can use eager loading and how we can implement so to implement eager loading we can just make so i'll just create here um, another class just to show you so i'll say singleton um two right so i'll just create singleton two and in this singleton two let me just copy so we have to make it private a static and then we have to also make it final and then we can say singleton two instance right and what happens you have to initialize this instance at this point only equal to new singleton instance 2 so at the class load only you are creating instance object and then you have to also make class as private so that no one can create object and then from one method so you can say public method public a static instance and then i'll say get instance so now in this method you can just return the object nothing else to do so this is called eager initialization right so i'll say this class is eager initialization e a g e r eager initialization so this is eager initialization and previous one i'll say that is lazy initialization so whenever we get request at that time it will create object lazy initialization so mostly whenever you use lazy initialization the benefit is that whenever new object request will come at that time it will create object but in case of eager initialization the object will be created while loading also while loading only and it might possible that this object we will never use but instance will be available in memory so that's why we should prefer lazy initialization and then we have to also use here synchronization related stuff then the, we have the second best practice thing that we should remember is avoid global state so be cautious about introducing new global state that can make code hard to implement right and to to avoid this global state what we usually we do we usually make it immutable we can make singleton class immutable and especially single object singleton object so that once you assign value that value should never be change right so for example let's say if i have here i'll say immutable uh, variable right immutable 
immutable variable and that variable name is I'll say private final and then I'll say a string Let, let's say config value right any value that you are mentioning inside singleton you need to make it private and final right because singleton uh, immutable rule says that you should make all the variables as private final and then whenever you are making private final you need to initialize it so I'll just initialize here this dot config value equal to I'll say default value so this is our default value and this value will never be changed right so question is if this is private uh, private then how we will access it so you need to generate the getter setter for this one so I'll just say generate getter setter so here okay I have generated just getter yes just getter method no setter because we have to we have given here singleton in the default value right so now if you see we have two object here two method get instance and get config value so whatever value you have assigned that should not be changed so immutability also you have to maintain inside singleton class so that no one can check no one can change so next thing that we should also uh, focus on one problem that usually we we face which is called serialization so whenever you use serialization at that time you must implement a method which is called read resolve so what happens if you singleton class implement serializable interface ensure that read resolve method is implemented to preserve the singleton property during deserialization so that is also very important and for that what we will do so let's go to the eager loading because we have object already created the only thing that we need to you know focus here is the once object is created we should preserve that so what I'll do I will here implement implements and I'll say serialize Zevalin whenever we implement we should add here serial version ID so I will add here one serial version ID and then what we need to do is we have to uh, we have created object then make this uh, sorry, make this uh, private constructor private and from object we are returning which is okay but whenever you have to implement also one more thing which is called read resolve so I'll say protected object and then I'll say read resolve so this read resolve you have to implement and inside this read resolve what we will do we have to just return the object of this instance so let's just return it so now this class is also serializable right we can easily serialize this and it can ensure that during deserialization the the existing singleton instance is returned right instead of creating a new instance so most of the time whenever we implement serialization uh, we implement singleton we mostly tackle thread safety and the single instance but we are not focusing on serializing object so whenever we serialize object we should also implement read resolve just to make sure that class is 100% thread safe as well as it can be serialized then also we can get the same object so conclusion here is singleton design pattern is powerful tool in your Java but like all tools it needs to be wisely used and I hope this video help you to understand the pattern better if you enjoy this make sure to hit the like button subscribe and leave comment below with your thoughts or questions thank you so much for